It's been one year since Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 disappeared. The Boeing 777 disappeared over the Indian Ocean with 239 passengers, and right now, there's still no sign of it. Ryan Meltzer is in Kuala Lumpur with the latest. Hi, Ryan. Yes, a year on, and the family members really have no more answers than they did last March, other than that the plane apparently went down in the southern Indian Ocean. And the family members that I hear from are highly skeptical of that official theory. Now, aside from the Malaysian families, a couple of dozen Chinese families have also come to Malaysia in the last couple of weeks seeking answers and trying to meet with senior officials, but so far failing. But they've opted to stay on to mark the one-year anniversary here with the Malaysian families whose loved ones also disappeared on board that flight. Kelly Wen was in Kuala Lumpur on January 29th when the Department of Civil Aviation chief declared the disappearance of MH370 an accident with the presumed loss of all lives on board, including her husband. It's a conclusion she just cannot accept. I wish the authorities would give us the truth. I don't believe such a big plane as that can just drop into the southern Indian Ocean with no wreckage, no bodies, and no luggage. As Chinese New Year approached, several more Chinese next of kin arrived, seeking answers they weren't getting at home from Malaysian authorities. Eighteen family members from China have been staying at this suburban hotel. They're people whose husbands and mothers were on board flight MH370 but most of them are parents who have lost their only child. For some of those parents, the hurt is still as raw as it was one year ago. The next of kin went to the Malaysia Airlines headquarters to demand the government withdraw its accident declaration. We have suffered great misfortune. We covered our own expenses ourselves coming here. Malaysia Airlines did nothing. We made the long journey here from China and now they just want to see three of us. It's unreasonable. Three of the group were eventually able to meet the Malaysia Airlines CEO. Most have opted to stay and spend the anniversary of the plane's disappearance here with the Malaysians whose loved ones were also on board the flight. The pain we have gone through, we are searching for them for one year. We are exhausted. We have faced so many problems emotionally in our daily life, everything. Wen says she believes her husband is still alive and that while others may give up hope, she is determined to wait for him to return. Now, the Malaysian and Chinese families will be holding a joint ceremony here on Sunday afternoon, and they're also hoping to have video links to family members from other countries such as Australia, New Zealand, and also India. Ryan, uh, your story is a reminder of how frustrating this is for the family members. Ninety million dollars have already been spent by Australia and Malaysia. The question is, how much longer does this continue? Well, there are four ships equipped with sophisticated sonar gear as well as these uh, automated undersea submersibles that are scouring an area that they're calling the priority search area. This is the area in which they believe the plane is most likely to have gone down. So far, they've covered some 40 percent out of that area, and they say they're confident they can cover the rest of it by May, and that they're also cautiously optimistic they will find some trace of the plane by May. But that's when the funding runs out. The current funding is about 93 million U.S. dollars split between Australia and Malaysia, that will run out in May. Then the option is to sit down and discuss further funding and to expand the search into the much broader search area, which is a vast 1.1 million square kilometers. Now, Australian officials have just said in this past week, though, that it's inconceivable that they can continue this search indefinitely at the current scale. It's, uh, it's fascinating how we're still talking about this a year later. Uh, Ryan, thank you very much with that update.